हेलो एंड वेलकम टू लेटेस्ट अपडेट द पॉइंट ऑफ डिस्कशन इज हैवी मेटल्स कंटेमिनेंट्स रिमूवल रिसर्चर्स एट द इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ साइंस हैव डेवलप्ड अ न्यू मेथड फॉर रिमूविंग हैवी मेटल कंटेमिनेंट्स फ्रॉम द ग्राउंड वाटर दिस थ्री स्टेप प्रोसेस नॉट ओनली प्योरीफाइज वाटर बट ऑल्सो इंश्योर्स द सेफ डिस्पोजल ऑफ द कंटेमिनेंट्स प्रिवेंटिंग देयर री एंट्री इन टू द एनवायरमेंट आफ्टर रिमूवल अकॉर्डिंग टू द रिपोर्ट्स numerous districts across various states have arsenic and fluoride levels exceeding the permissible limits set by the bureau of indian standards and the world health organization the remediation process aims to address groundwater contamination in these regions providing sustainable and safe drinking water solutions the first two steps involve the separation of arsenic from the contaminated water using a biodegradable absorbent the third step bio remediation converts highly toxic inorganic arsenic into less toxic organic forms through microbial methylation the system is easy to assemble and operate making it suitable for community level implementation by residents now let us know about heavy metals heavy metals are not easily degradable and their release into the environment poses significant health risks examples include arsenic cadmium chromium lead and mercury some heavy metals have an effect on biological activities and growth while others accumulate in one or more organs resulting in a variety of severe diseases such as cancers skin diseases and nervous system disorders now it's time for the practice question the minamata disease is caused by exposure to which one of the following lead arsenic chromium mercury give us the answer in the comment section that's all for today For more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications